Fortunately, we have, I mean, insurance has been better in covering it, um, but it varies a lot per insurance what the copay is for per patient. So um, some patients have zero copay, and then other patients may have $900 or $1,000 a month. So that really adds up quickly and it's really hard to afford for our patients. Um, so it's nice that there is copay and assistance programs, but not everybody qualifies for that. Um, so I think that is another thing to really keep in mind for when we're prescribing for um, if the patient has a high, um, high copay and would potentially experience financial toxicity from it, what is actually the added benefit? How many months? Um, it's more important how many months can we add to somebody's life here with good quality of life um, versus the, the financial toxicity that they may experience. So, um, you know, all the PARP inhibitors, if you count for like the most common doses, they're pretty similar in price. Um, so really kind of depends on physician discussion still to, to keep in mind also and to ask the patient about because usually that's the other thing that they may not tell you that they're struggling to pay their bills every month because they're on this drug and if it doesn't have a significant benefit or you're kind of up in the air then yes that becomes a, a much bigger deal.